Have you ever wondered why some electric cars are revealed so far ahead of their production date? Most of the time it's because car manufacturers want to check public interest, bring more attention to their brand, or collect initial pre-order deposits from customers. But sometimes it could be all of those at the same time. In this video, let's take a look at the best electric cars that are not coming anytime soon, but look very promising. Dodge Challenger E-Muscle Expected to be out by 2024, the all-new Dodge Challenger E-Muscle is a clear sign that electric vehicles are taking over. Electrifying one of the most powerful muscle cars is a major endeavor, but it pays off handsomely in terms of performance. The Challenger E-Muscle is expected to be built on Stellantis' big electric vehicle chassis, which is supposed to have a range of up to 500 miles. Although the E-Muscle's powertrain has yet to be officially announced by Dodge, a teaser video shows the car performing a four-wheel burnout, which strongly suggests an all-wheel drive. However, there is no denying that ratcheting up the performance to Hellcat levels would reduce the range. Although we haven't seen the entire car yet, teaser photographs show stylistic cues that obviously pay homage to old Challenger and Charger models, as well as the reintroduction of the Fratzog emblem, which was previously used on Dodge vehicles from the 1960s and 1970s. The E-Muscle is expected to cost more than a gasoline-powered Challenger, but this is only an estimate because Dodge has not revealed any pricing information. That's why the base model is expected to cost around $50,000. Lucid Gravity The development of Project Gravity, an electric SUV concept from Lucid Motors, is the company's next ambition following the introduction of its magnificent Lucid Air sedan for the 2021 model year. Despite the fact that the sedan's 113 kWh battery pack allows for a driving range of up to 517 miles on a single charge, the Gravity's taller, more blunt SUV body will likely be less aerodynamic, resulting in a small reduction in driving range. In spite of this, Gravity's range is predicted to be far greater than that of even the most efficient Model X SUV. In addition to being able to charge quickly via DC fast charging, the Gravity may also come with three years of charging through Electrify America charging stations, similar to the Air's charging capabilities. The Gravity's starting price and trim levels have not yet been announced by Lucid. It is expected to be slightly more costly than the Air and to offer a comparable variety of choices. As a result, an estimated price of around $90,000 is anticipated. Chrysler Airflow Although a few details have been confirmed, several indicators led to Chrysler launching a new electric car dubbed the Airflow. In addition to being a well-designed compact crossover, it is likely to ride on a new electric vehicle platform from Chrysler's parent company, Stellantis, known as the STLA Medium. The Airflow's potential driving range, based on the company's revolutionary battery technology, has been estimated to be as long as 440 miles in the preliminary testing phase. In fact, a 2025 version of the Airflow might hit the market as early as 2024, competing against vehicles such as the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the Tesla Model Y, and the Volvo XC40 Recharge, among others. It is not yet revealed what trim levels or combinations will be available on the Airflow, but it is anticipated that it will be available in single-motor and dual-motor configurations. According to the current estimates, the entry-level model will cost around $50,000. Aptera SEV Aptera plans to sell electric cars that are easy to drive, easy to maintain, easy to self-fix, and most importantly, completely free to charge through the solar roof of the vehicle. While that is an impressive and admirable promise compared to other major electric car makers, the looks of this electric three-wheel vehicle may require some time to be accepted by the majority of people. And so far, what we know is that it will have in-wheel motors made by Elafe. It is expected to produce 50 kilowatts and 67 horsepower and not place a significant amount of strain on the vehicle's suspension. And with the standard front wheel drive and an optional third wheel drive, the 0 to 60 mile per hour time is expected to be about 3.5 seconds. It is likely that front wheel drive will be standard. However, one item has remained constant during Aptera's transition to a solar powered electric vehicle the company's ultra light, ultra strong passenger shell. Despite having the lightest bodywork, incredibly smooth aerodynamics and tires with extremely low rolling resistance, a solar-powered three-wheel electric car achieves four times the efficiency of a normal electric sedan. 
prices are estimated to start in the region of $25,900. Ford Explorer EV The most popular three-row SUV in the United States is getting an electric variant. However, the debut of the Ford Explorer electric vehicle has been pushed until 2024, according to Ford. But despite the lack of an official explanation, it's not difficult to assume that during battery shortage times, Ford is giving its priority to Ford Mustang Mach-E and the all-new Ford F-150 Lightning pickup trucks. Unfortunately, no information on the Explorer EV's specs or horsepower statistics has been revealed yet. But as a point of reference, the driving range of the electric Ford Explorer will be among its competitors depending on the configuration and may reach up to 350 miles, becoming a direct competitor of the Tesla Model X. While the Explorer's exact range target is unclear from Ford's perspective, an increasing number of EV competitors with ranges between 250 and 350 miles will force it to beat such numbers. When it comes to prices, no official prices on any estimates have been provided yet, and so we will have to wait a little longer. Lightyear One Lightyear One is a long-range solar electric vehicle designed to be completely self-sufficient and capable of traveling anywhere. So far, no other electric vehicle on the market can match Lightyear One's modest energy usage. As a result of the vehicle's unique architecture and innovative technology, Lightyear One has been built to be as energy efficient as possible. With the lowest emissions, the lowest charging frequency, and clean, fully solar energy charging, you should be able to get a range of 460 miles when the battery is 100% full. As a result of conductive aluminum made in Duron's solar conductive backplates, Lightyear's front hood and roof are all black with no silver conductors framing recognizable areas of solar collectors. Moreover, it enhances the solar area, minimizes cell to module power losses, and increases power generation by 3%, all of which benefit the vehicle's overall appearance. Despite the fact that it is a charge-free from the sun electric car, the expected starting price is around $175,000. Cadillac Celestic The Celestic has all the makings of a real flagship luxury sedan, and on top of that it features an electric motor capable of over 300 mile range. As a sister vehicle of the Lyric SUV, which is for sale in 2022, the Celestic promises even more groundbreaking innovations, such as a transparent glass roof panel. With a dashboard spanning infotainment display, this vehicle appears to have a lot of room inside. Cadillac expects the Celestic to go on sale in 2025, which means it will serve as a launching pad for the latest and greatest technology from General Motors. An Ultium battery pack with a capacity of up to 100 kilowatts per hour will power the Celestic. With its new all-electric powertrains like the Celestic and Lyric in its lineup, it isn't clear if Cadillac will continue to offer contemporary trim levels. We believe the Celestic will be more expensive than the Lyric, which is expected to start at roughly $60,000. Volkswagen ID Buzz Given the increasing popularity of electric vehicles, the 2024 Volkswagen ID Buzz aims to address a need in the market that is currently unfulfilled by current EV bus offerings. For the retro style of the ID Buzz's antique design, Volkswagen's Type 2 Microbus, often known as the VW Bus, served as an influence. There will be three rows of seating inside, as well as an outside design that is influenced by the 1950s. The ID Buzz's electric powertrain, which will be available in either rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive configuration, is expected to provide a driving range of 260 miles and more. VW says that the battery of the vehicle can be recharged from 5% to 80% in 30 minutes when using a direct current fast charger. According to the company, they are also developing a plug-and-charge solution that does not require the use of an app or a credit card to unlock the charger. VW has not yet announced the ID Buzz's pricing or the other options that will be offered, but based on current EV market pricing, it is expected to have a starting price of $40,000. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.